these recordings of the underwater noises made by organisms of the sea were made in 1951, 1952, and 1953. They were obtained in the coastal waters of the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean near the state of Florida and from tanks and saltwater enclosures on the shore. One of the most common of the noises which occur beneath the surface of the ocean is the noise made by a small, inedible, snapping shrimp. This noise is produced by snapping or clicking its claws together. The combined chorus of large numbers of these little organisms produces a kind of underwater static which occurs in many areas of the world. Here is the sound of thousands of snapping shrimp, some close and some far from the sound recording gear, which was recorded a few miles off the coast in the Gulf of Mexico near the marine laboratories of the Florida State University Oceanographic Institute. If we move our boat closer to shore, particularly in sheltered water, we are likely to add to this background noise the deep tone of the toadfish. There are probably 60 or more toadfish contributing to the sounds which follow. of the snapping shrimp can, of course, be accompanied by the noises of many other fishes besides the toadfish. Here is a recording made at the Lerner Marine Laboratory in the Bahama Islands, in which the sounds of the, 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 in which the sounds of the oceanic triggerfish and the parrotfish can be heard. These noises have a rasping or filing quality, like striking a match on a piece of sandpaper. They are made in feeding or in eating, as the fish uses its powerful jaws to bite or scrape live coral from coral rock. Combined sounds of a school of 200 or more sea catfish 
were recorded at Homosassa Springs, Florida. Together, they resemble somewhat the bubbling of a coffee percolator. sea catfish is also capable of a tone-like grunt which he emits in situations which we might imagine would induce fear. Here is a single catfish held in the hand close to a hydrophone or underwater microphone in an indoor aquarium. The percolator noise is also made by this same fish. White Grunt, or the Key West Grunt, who gets his name from his noises, sounds like this in an aquarium tank. Here are the sounds made by a drum fish. Cowfish, who is encased in a hard, rigid shell, has a powerful sound indeed in proportion to his size, which in this case was about six inches. Toward the end of this recording can be heard the ticking noise made by a sea robin, which was in the tank with the cowfish.
one of the most interesting and little known of the mammals of the sea is the manatee or sea cow whose underwater noises have rarely if ever been recorded before. The manatee weighs several hundred pounds and is six or eight feet long, yet he squeaks almost like a mouse. The two manatees heard here were at the Daytona Sea Zoo. The scraping or rubbing sounds which occur between the squeaks are caused by their swimming or pushing themselves sluggishly across the bottom of the tank.